Annyeong, Suwadika, Konnichiwa, and welcome to my vlog. Hi guys, welcome to my first vlog for our theoretical foundation of nursing subject. And for today's video, we're gonna talk about the theorist who invented the conservation model, and that is Myra Estrin Levine. Who is Myra Estrin Levine? How did she came up with this idea? And what is the conservation model? If you want to know more about our theories for today, just keep watching, guys! Myra S. Levine from 1920 to 1996. Myra S. Levine was born on December 12, 1920, in Chicago, Illinois. She was the oldest of the three children, and she developed an interest in nursing because her father was frequently ill. Levine graduated from Cook Carter School of Nursing in 1944 and she obtained her Bachelor of Science in Nursing from the University of Chicago in 1949. In 1962, Levine earned her Master of Science in Nursing at Wayne State University. She taught nursing at different institutions such as University of Chicago and Tel Aviv University in Israel. She also authored 77 published articles, which included an introduction to clinical nursing with multiple publication years on 1969, 1973, and 1989. She also received an honorary doctorate from Loyola University in 1992. She died on March 20, 1996, at the age of 7. Talk about the conservation model. The core of Levine's conservation model is to improve the physical and emotional well-being of a person by considering the four domains of conservation of energy, structure, personal, and social integrity. The nursing theory guided nursing to concentrate on the importance and responses to maintain and promote health to the patient. There are three major concepts in the conservation model, adaptation, coolness, and conservation. And first, let me tell you about the adaptation. Adaptation is every individual has a unique range of adapt adaptive responses will vary by heredity, age, gender, or challenges of illness. Adaptation is achieved through the frugal, economic, contained, and control use of environmental resources by individual in his or her best interest. In adaptation, there are also three concepts. Historicity, specificity, and redundancy. The next one is fullness. Levine based her use of fullness on Erickson's description of fullness and an open system stating, Fullness emphasizes a sound, organic, progressive, with quality between diversified function and parts within an entirely, the boundaries of which are open and fluid. And the last one is conservation. Conservation is from the Latin word conservatio, meaning to keep together. The primary focus of the conservation is keeping together the life system or the wholeness of the individual. The goal of conservation is health and strength to confront disability, as the rules of conservation and integrity hold in all situations in which nursing is required. And now, let's talk about the four principles in conservation. One is conservation of energy of the individual. It refers balancing energy input and output to avoid excessive fatigue. It includes adequate rest, nutrition, and exercise. Number two is the conservation of the structural integrity of the individual. Refers to maintaining or restoring the structure of body, preventing physical breakdown, and promoting healing. The third one is conservation of the personal integrity of the individual. It recognizes the individual as one who strives for recognition, respect, self-awareness, selfhood, and self-determination. And the last one is the conservation of the social integrity of the individual. It exists when a patient is recognized as someone who resides within a family, a community, a religious group, an ethnic group, a political system, and a nation. And now, let's move on to our nursing method paradigm. In nursing, it is the human interaction relying on communication, 
rooted in the organic dependency of the individual human being in his relationship with other human beings. In person, is the unique individual in unity and integrity, feeling, believing, thinking, and whole. In health, is the pattern of adaptive change of the whole being. And in environment, includes both the internal and external environment. So in internal environment, it combines the physiological and photophysiological aspect of the individual and is constantly challenged with external environment. And in internal environment, it is divided into the perceptual, operational, and conceptual environment. The goal of nursing is to promote wholeness, realizing that every individual requires a unique and separate cluster of activities. The individual's integrity is his her abiding person, and it is the nurse's responsibility to assist the patient, to defend and to seek its reality. And now, I will give an example scenario. We have here a 75-year-old man currently staying in a long-term care facility. He has a history of cognitive heart failure and generalized weakness. Currently, he states that he has been feeling depressed due to his inability to do his own personal care. He also states that he misses his old friends in the community. And now, I will give an example scenario. We have here a 75-year-old man currently staying in a long-term care facility. He has a history of cognitive heart failure and generalized weakness. Currently, he states that he has been feeling depressed due to his inability to do his own personal care. He also states that he misses his old friends in the community. In the given example scenario, the nurse could use the four principles of conservation to address his need as follows. In conservation of energy, ensure the patient has enough rest periods to provide the energy needed for activities of daily living. In conservation of structural integrity, the patient is high risk for immobility due to CHF and weakness, so the nurse will need to put interventions in place for prevention and pressure ulcers. In conservation of personal integrity, the nurse recognized that the patient wants to maintain a sense of independence, so she will take steps to help the patient achieve as high as level of independence as possible with personal care, working together with a physiotherapist or occupational therapist. And lastly, conservation of social integrity. The nurse can facilitate the maintenance of old friendship by contacting the family and asking if they would be able to take him out on social leave. Also, the nurse can discuss with the interdisciplinary team activity or recreation aids way of having the patient form new connection with the other patient within the long-term care facility. And now, I will end this report by a quotation from Myra Esther Levine Ethical behavior is not the display of one's moral rectitude in times of crisis. It is the day-to-day -day expression of one's commitment to other persons and the ways in which human beings relate to one another in their daily interactions.